Hey, what's going on builders? It's your boy, Zero System with two M's of course. And I'm back again for a uh, short video today, one that I've been wanting to make for a long time and I figured I'd just sit down and do it. So today we're gonna be talking about Future or uh, Pledge Revive It, as it's been renamed in the past uh, couple of years I've learned. So um, this is kind of just gonna be like a introspective, subjective review about my um, experiences with it and if it's I, if I think it's good or if I think it's bad or um, whatever. So if you've been curious about it or if you've been thinking about picking it up or whatever, then, then you can use this as kind of, you know, something to help you figure out if you should buy some or not. In the very beginning, I picked up Future because I wanted to give my... Uh, I was doing a lot of the master grade, like GMs, like GM Dominance, uh, Colony GM. I did a handful of them, and they all have these really cool face visors. So I picked this up in the beginning just to kind of give those face visors an added shine. What you literally do is just secure the plastic pieces to like a toothpick or a clip or something, and just dip it in. You don't need to put it in the airbrush or anything like that. So I was also using it on like the Gundam, um, the eye pieces and the camera pieces. One day I tried to put it through my airbrush. I had like an Iwata Neo and I upgraded it to like the 0.5 nozzle, 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 needle, nozzle setup. When I put Future in it, it just came out in these like massive pools, I completely saturated it to the point where like I had to redo the whole piece. I, you know, F that, I'm not going to really use it in the airbrush. I kind of have my reasons for it, my purposes for it, so I'm just going to, you know, use it on my clear pieces to give those man a shine. And fast forward probably about a year or so, eight months, I kind of forget, I started doing Hot Wheels. These have been really fun. You can see a couple of videos of my Hot Wheels, build, Hot Wheels builds. Uh, I'm going to be working on some more here pretty soon. But these have these plastic windshield pieces. That's another easy piece to just dip it in, let it dry, and then boom, you kind of have a nicer looking, shinier, less scratched up windshield without doing really any sanding or anything like that. It's not perfect, but it definitely looks a lot better than the one straight out of the uh, out of the box. You can kind of see on camera here, it's got a very nice glassy um, shine to it. As the car does too, and that's what I'm gonna to touch on next. So, so I was working on this guy here, and it was during the pandemic, and during the pandemic, my favorite um, clear coat, which is the Mr. Hobby clear coat, it's an acrylic clear. The few stores that had it were charging like 12 bucks, 15 bucks. I saw it for like 17 bucks or as high as like $33 a can on Amazon, which is really crazy. So I needed an alternative. And uh, there is this, some stuff called Mr. Army Painter that I was using for a while. And then, so I was kind of look, thinking about picking up that in, in its gloss form. And then I remembered uh, future. I needed to put down a good solid base to put down my panel lines and my decals on this kit because I did it all. This kit's completely painted with just Tamiya acrylics. So, like some were flat, some were gloss. So it just like I needed to have a new surface to do my you know my my next steps on. So I, I picked up some of this. Did some tests with it and it seemed to be working. I ended up doing a clear coat on here with the pledge. Once I used it on this kit I felt very comfortable to use it again and to try out in other forms. So then I found my, so I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna use it on other painted Gunpla or other painted model kits as well. But then I kind of found my favorite way to use it, which is on Hot Wheels. On these ones, I just used uh, Future. So the reason being is because these are both painted with uh, Turbo Dork paint, and that's an acrylic paint. So when I used that acrylic paint, I needed a good acrylic clear coat to you know, down to do panel lines and decals, but then just something to seal in my paint. Because if you use a uh, lacquer clear coat, if I use like anything like, you know, Rust-Oleum, Duplicolor, Tamiya, um, it would, you know, it would make the paint bubble and eat right through it. So on these, I like using Future because number one, I mess them up so much. It's very often I'll get to like the last step, mess something up, I have to throw it in the thinner and have to redo the whole car. So if I use Mr. Hobby, it's like a little bit of a bigger loss because that stuff's just more expensive in general and it's harder to find. But if I use the Pledge, then um, it's more disposable, I have more of it, it's easier to get, and it does a really, really, really good job. 
So, in the end, if you're doing uh, something with acrylics and you need a good acrylic gloss, uh, this is good. If you're dipping your part in it, if you're spraying your part with it, um, I think it's good. And your parts, and one last thing, it's not going to yellow or crack, because I've had these for a while. I've touched them, they've been in the sun for a couple hours or so, sitting in my diorama. Um, I've taken plenty of pictures with them. They've been handled, and they've held up extremely fine. They look just like the day I finished them. People saying that your stuff's gonna weather, or your, stuff's gonna, your stuff is going to yellow, or bubble, or peel, or crack, uh, anything like that, I haven't seen any evidence of that yet. Maybe will I in a couple of years? I hope not, but I mean, so far, so good. It, they look amazing, and you gotta remember, this stuff's like made to be, um, to be walked on, you know? It's, it's meant to be it's meant to be touched and, and, and stuff like that, so it's not going to wear off easy. It's definitely not going to, like, flake away because you don't see that, and that just wouldn't happen. It's more just going to, if anything, it's going to wear away over time. Um, that, that's going to be with, like, you know, like you're stepping on it or something, not just with light handling or placing it in your um, display or handling it in your diorama or whatever. So far, it's been fine uh, for me, so... I assume it'll be fine for you guys too. So uh, in, at the end of the day, this gets an you know an A plus in my book. If you're doing acrylics, you need a good acrylic gloss. Um, I've had success with it, so I definitely recommend it. You can get it at Ace Hardware. I don't know if you have one of those near you. Otherwise, I'm sure it's available at plenty of other places. Um, and to be clear, now it's called Pledge Revive It Floor Gloss, and I'll put a picture of it in the thumbnail. But you want to make sure you get this one and not anything else. They do change the label, so uh, I'll make sure this is recent before I post the video. So yeah, that's really about it. Thanks so much for watching. I wanted to make this video for a while. I hope I touched every point. Anything that I missed, I'll maybe put a pinned comment below, um, you know, explaining anything that I missed or any errors that I made. And uh, please drop below your experiences too with Pledge, or if you end up using it based on my recommendation from this video, please. Let me know. I'd love to hear how it goes. Uh, it should go well. Like I said, if you're doing acrylics and you need a good acrylic gloss, it's cheap and it's um, durable and it's versatile. So, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about it. And um, that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. We'll be working on a P Bandai kit. You'll be seeing some more awesome, awesome content for me in the future. No pun intended. You know, like future. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.